Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, my name is Adele Perez. Today we are doing a fall decorate with me and this is part one. I recently went and decorated my whole house and then just a couple days ago, I changed a couple of things, but this is what I did at first and I still wanted to share with you guys. Decorating is a process. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is my front entryway. And this front table is actually from Amazon. And then all of the signs are from Hobby Lobby. The large black ones are from last year or the year before, I believe. And then that P is from this year. So I think they still have them. This little pillow is from Target as well as all of these florals. So I'm just gonna kind of fix them in this arrangement. I really wanted to make this space as, or in the front of my home as homey as I could and inviting. So I love all of the bright colors. This little pumpkin is from Kirkland's and it does light up. And then I'm just gonna fill in with a bunch of little pumpkins. These little tiny ones are from Target and they're from the dollar spot. So they're about five to one dollar each so yeah i really love the way that this turned out it just is so inviting with all the fall colors it gives me all of the fall vibes Now we're gonna move on to my buffet table in my dining room. I had these little lamps and I didn't really like them anyways, but I'm just gonna store them away and go ahead and start creating a little centerpiece. Now this is one thing that I did change. Um, so I created the centerpiece on my buffet table and realized that it would look so much better on my dining room table. So a few days ago, I did go ahead and move it to my dining room table, but this is just how I put it together. All of these pumpkins and the picks are from Hobby Lobby and I believe the picks, they came in different colors so you can choose whatever colors match. I'm going for a navy purple burgundy theme. I really like these colors together so those are going to be the colors that you see around most often so all i'm doing is kind of rearranging all of the pumpkins and this does take a while to figure out which way i wanted everything but i love the way that all the colors come together and the way that it turned out Now I'm going to work on creating this little tray. I got this tray at Hobby Lobby, but I recently saw one that's pretty similar at Target for only $5. This one I believe was 13. Um, and all I'm doing is filling it with little pumpkins. All these pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby and they were actually picks if you saw me pulling off the pick part of it. And so it was just a cheaper option than buying a bunch of tiny pumpkins, but I'm just gonna uh, fill this in with florals and pumpkins to kind of fill it up and create more cozy vibes. I'm using these white pumpkins and then I will insert some navy and burgundy and pink pumpkins as well. So I decided to go ahead and put this on my kitchen island right in front of my sink. I thought it created a cute little space right on the island. I didn't have a lot of decorations here so it brings a little bit of fall on here as well as pairing it with this cute little hi there pumpkin sign that I got from Kirkland's. Now I'm going to move to the guest bathroom and this is where you can see that I actually dropped this little bitty uh, cake stand and broke it but it's all good. I just pushed it to the back and we can't really tell but I'm kind of moving things around trying to figure out where I want stuff and I am just going to use the same little basket that I had before and I'm going to flip it upside down just to create some hype and then put everything there and I think it looks a lot better this way with the black in there. Now I'm going to move on to my living room and work on decorating the fireplace and this is a place that did change recently on how it looks. I realized that I didn't really like the way that I did it at first and that's just how it is around here with decorating. I like things for a little bit and then I have to change it. So 
Um, it doesn't look like this anymore, but I still wanted to share with you guys what I did at first. So these tall candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby and then the candles that went inside are from the Target Dollar Spot. All of the pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby as well as that blue sign. And then in the middle, I have this little plant box. It's actually from Amazon as well as all the greenery. And it's holding our cable box as well as the box for our frame TV and holding all of the wires. So I didn't like the look of all the wires up there. So I wanted a way to disguise it. And I didn't have any florals to fill this in. So it was kind of an eyesore with it being bright green and I wanted to bring in more fall. So as you can see, I'm kind of pointing that out, but I did recently purchase some more florals for that and I did change them out. And so all I was doing right here was just arranging all of my leftover pumpkins all over the mantle. And I liked it at first, but after seeing it every single day, I realized it was just too cluttered and too much. So this is an area that does change later, but like I said, I still wanted to share with you as part of this video, in case you are somebody that likes something like this, you can see how I arranged all of the different colors and pumpkins and kind of brought them together. After the mantle, I have one last piece to add to my front entryway and it's this fall sweet fall sign from Hobby Lobby and I think it adds that final little touch that it needed and that's going to conclude my part one of fall decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more just like this one. Stay tuned for part two. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!